reality still gets in the way of VR. Imagine experiencing it without physical limitations. Take a deep breath, relax, and play. Any movement, actual or imagined, starts in the mind. We are developing the first brain-computer interface that translates thoughts into virtual movements. Our research-grade hardware detects, amplifies, and decodes brain signals into actions with advanced machine learning algorithms. Join us for early access to state-of-the-art BCI technologies. Broadmind, expanding the abilities of the human mind. Uh, hi, I'm Ivan. I'm the founder at Broadmind. I founded this company five years ago with an idea to expand the abilities of the human mind and to push neuroscience forward. And today I'm extremely proud to show you what we managed to achieve. We decided to create a device that is combining accessibility with the best signal quality, machine learning models, and usability that you can get. So you can do fantastic things with it, like train your mind and enhance your cognitive abilities, but also play video games just by imagining things in your mind. In our research kit, we managed to achieve the functionality of much bigger devices, much more expensive devices with just a few electrodes. I'm a developer, but I have no experience in brain signal processing, but I was stunned how easy it is to work with it as a developer. Here's something I put together in 10 minutes. It's a very simple script. It configures the uh, connection to the board. Yes, and here it is. It just works. It allows the users to customize uh, the mental commands they want to use the device with and also leads the users through an intuitive way to learn how to um, engage in mental imagery. And what is key in the team of all, it's very multidisciplinary. I mean, going from neuroscience to mechanical to electrical to, I mean, a lot of different backgrounds. The EEG signals tend to get really small and we have to design very precise and low noise circuitry. What I like the most is the international team that we have and it's the synergies that we've been able to build. These technologies would not be possible without tens of years of academic research and the enthusiasts who pioneered the brain-computer interface. We're here to take it to the next level and make it accessible to everyone. We chose laser printing because it gives us exactly the right material properties that we need to implement the functionality with the spring mechanism. Here you can see that it's absolutely, like it's really, really impossible to break it. It flexes in many different directions. At the same time, it gave us the possibility to create this unibody design, place all of the electronics into the most intricate little sections, have everything connected with each other, no parts that can break, no parts that fly off, no disassembly of screws. It's, it's really, it comes in a very neat package. It's more than just uh, releasing a non-invasive brain-computer interface, which is really important, but it's also the beginning of a larger journey that will shape the future of the neuroscience field. This is awesome. This finish is awesome. 0.05 millimeter precision. This is crazy. So laser printing was a really conscious choice that allowed us to create a device that hits almost any head size. Each spring adjusts to your head shape. So even if you've got some bump or something on your head, reasonable limit, each electric can adjust to it and get really good connection to the head. Based on the most advanced academic research, we developed our own state-of-the-art models to predict 3D hand positions from neural activity in real time, reaching up to 85% accuracy. By launching our device and integrating it with VR, we made these technologies accessible to everyone. I'm super excited to see what you can guys do with our device. Thank you for your support. Broadmind, expanding the abilities of the human mind.